right, so there's going to be a list of things you need to get before you start your mining journey, like me. This is just, you know, how I do things. You need a seismic charge launcher. You need one of those. You need an abrasion blaster, one of those. Collection limpet, one of those. Prospector limpet, one of those. Refiner, obviously one. Detail service scanner, one. And also make sure you have a medium to large ship. I use a python. I think it's enough cargo for me. I don't need anything extravagant or big. Um, a lot of people use bigger ships and I think it's just bulky and I can't, you know, maneuver around the asteroids that way. Okay, so next, after limpets, you want to make sure you go to advanced maintenance and go to restock. Make sure you have limpets at the bottom there, okay, and enough cargo for them. After that, I always go to the, um, <clears throat> the map and want to look to see any planets to have a ring around them I look specifically for a ring that's icy it's icy element because from what I'm looking for so I usually go to um, my galaxy map the system map whatever that loads and then once you see here you can see the planets that have rings this one has a ring let's find out and use the left on the right you press uh, R1 I believe uh, press the wrong button sorry Yeah, that's it. Seven, could be seven A. Okay, can't mark it from there. But system map. Um, you go to the one that has rings on it, and then you uh, press left on the D-pad to use that menu on the left, and press R1 to move it to the right, and scroll down with the D-pad, and you'll see ring type. And there, I always go for icy. That's what I always look for. Then of course you go there and you see the ring and then you use the surface scanner right here. Aim for the ring and uh, shoot it out there. Once it hits, you're going to see a light up. There it goes. And then it's going to identify all the hot spots for certain elements that you're looking for to, you know, essentially mine. Uh, you also want to get that second ring because you could find other elements uh you know the things that you're searching for in there as well i always go for the ice ring just particularly because i like looking for opals and uh you know diamonds that's what i look for and it's kind of hard to get the bottom ring so i'm hitting the planet but um that's how you you do it anyway you can hit the planet and and, and learn stuff from there as well but right now we're more focused on the rings and once that's done, you can go to your menu, and it should pop up low temperature diamond hotspot. See, so it says right there, monsonite hotspot, void opals hotspot. You know, those are all hotspots there, so you can, you know, close in, pick one, and go in there. Now, keep in mind, you will be pursued by pirates, too. So it's best to have some kind of, um, you know, uh, weapons on your system. Make sure you have good armor and, like, shields. Or try to thrust your way out of there. Um, there's a void opals hotspot. Um, but I also like the diamonds as well. Um, boy, this is long. Let me cut this out here. Okay, so save you some time. Um, now I'm going for... The other one was opals. Now I'm going for the uh, low temperature diamonds here. Okay, so here is where you're going to use your pulse anal wave analyzer. Um, also, you want to make sure that you have your ship in night vision. I use night vision. It just highlights the asteroids better for me. Um, you can do it regularly. You see mine pop out. So you see that one's highlighted. And it's pretty bright from that distance. So chances are pretty high. If it's really bright from a long distance, from my experience, that's a hot one you want to get. And I'm being scanned already, see? But I look on the radar and I see green. 
So it's a security guard. I don't have to worry about him. Security guard. Well, you know, federal security, whatever ship. And this is going to be good. I get close enough to it. So you want to get as close as you can to because I've noticed with my night vision on, uh, not only just highlighting it or whatever, but you can see the closer you get. I look for scarring or or, or as uh, what do you call it? Um, fissures. Looks like cracks. Well, basically, what a fissure is, but it looks like scarring right there. Um, that's just uh, uh, one of the elements sticking out. It could be anything. And right there in the top right, you can see there's another uh, fissure right there. So, yep, this is it. It's got asteroid fissures all over it. So you send out your limpet, your prospecting limpet out, and it's going to show you all the asteroid fissures on this particular asteroid. Now you see the asteroid fissures. You got to shoot your seismic charge exactly according to what it is. That's average, so I hit like one bar on that. And the destination yield on the top right, you want to reach that blue bar. That's your optimum range. So I hit a couple of them. I'll just stop at one. Alright. Let's see if I can find another one. There's another one right there. That's uh, average. So I'll put like one bar hold charge on it. I think one bar anyway. Let's see here. Right, there we go. It's going up there. So it's in the yellow zone right now. I'm trying to get it to blue to be optimized. A little strength. So you just tap it. There we go. I got a little bit of blue. A little bit of blue. I need more though. I need more. That's a high strength one, so you want to hold the charge on this one for a little bit longer. Maybe two bars. Three bars. And miss just like that. That's awesome. Let's try again. Uh, oh, there you go. Optimum yield range right there. Perfect. And you go to your uh, contacts menu and you detonate it. And all of them will go off in 10 seconds. And this should be a perfect blast. And we'll see how much we can yield. Fifteen resources free. And then the rest is just, you know, stuck on the asteroids where you're gonna use um your other tool to shoot them off. And just send your collection lipids to go collect. And that's pretty much it, man. Thanks for watching, guys.